President Obama's reaction to the outcome of this election can be summed up in three words. Not my fault. On the press conference, that press conference he had today in Greece, Obama was asked if Donald Trump's victory was a referendum on his presidency and whether Democrats underestimated the simmering anger from voters across this great country of ours. Instead, Obama blamed, quote, personalities and how campaigns are run, as well as the country's inevitable desire for change after a party has been in the White House for eight years. A pretty healthy majority of the American people agree with my worldview on a whole bunch of things. And I know that that begs the question, well, how is it that somebody who appears to have a very different worldview just got elected? As I said, sometimes people just feel as if we want to try something to see if uh, we can shake things up. And that, I suspect, was uh, a significant phenomenon. So this comes a day after Obama took what appeared to be another veiled shot at Hillary Clinton's campaign when he seemed to suggest that Democrats struggled in places like Iowa this year because they didn't spend as much time on the ground as they did back when he was a candidate in 2008 and 2012. This morning, for the second day in a row, President Obama also offered up some pretty positive and relatively hopeful remarks about his White House successor, Donald J. Trump. So, Mark, um, a lot of Democrats already think that Obama is normalizing Trump. He's also absolving himself of any blame uh, in this debacle of an election, do you think he is risking or courting backlash among the members of his own party? I think members of his own party, uh, including some of, the, some of his advisors who've commented on this uh, quietly, it's just a strange tact he's taking. I get he feels a responsibility to help the transition, and I don't think he's normalized him, you know, excessively given the situation. But what he did today to basically say, everybody likes me and my policies, and it's true his approval rating is high, and basically saying none of this was my fault. You, you, you have to look deeper at what's happened to the Democratic Party since he's been president. I don't think he can say this had nothing to do with him. It is, um, it is the case that a lot of people in the Democratic Party now are saying that Barack Obama's in denial, that he's in denial about, about Trump, and he's speaking too favorably of him, and that he's in denial about his role in the, where the party is right now. And yeah. again, I think the point you're trying to make is if you look at where the Democratic Party was when Barack Obama entered office, and where it is today, it is a much worse place eight years later. And it is, there is no doubt that his failure to build the party, to care about the party, to argue for the party, build himself up, but he, to, to, to be, be interested in the party, his failure, and in many cases, his abject rejection of that as a responsibility of the president. A lot of Democrats are mad about that, and they're going to get madder as we go forward. He built an Obama party. He didn't build a Democratic party.